Hey guys, I'm a verified educator at an academy and along with that I'm also teaching live at an academy plus to access my live classes you can take an academy plus subscription now an academy plus offers some interesting features apart from live classes which include detailed and complete explanation of a particular course then there you have problem a discussion for self evaluation you can also watch recorded version of the class in case if you miss out any live session you have regular doubt clearing sessions for doubt clearing and to clarify all your problems you also get access to the whatsapp group to clear and discuss problem among the other plus students now if you have found these features interesting and want to join an academy plus i'll recommend you to use my referral code that is n underscore huda to get 10 percent discount on the subscription fee now that's all about an academy plus let's continue with our video hey guys hello everyone and welcome to the channel so this is going to be a new series which i'm going to launch from today onwards and this series i'm calling it as problem solving approach series and uh, in this in this particular series i'm going to provide you solutions of many different kind of questions which were not that easy to solve in the exam or uh, you might have uh, like you might be feeling difficulty in solving those questions so how you can approach do these questions so these this will help you to like like apart from preparing from the usual topics which you are already preparing from the books or from your notes these are going to boost up your performance by giving you some sp like some extra idea of different kind of questions which have been asked in previous CSI net exams right so this question is going to be the first question of this particular series and do let me know in the comment section uh, like after watching this video that if you want this particular like if you want me to continue this particular series or not and uh, like did you guys like this idea or not right so do let me know and one more thing that this series going is going to be more frequent because i'm just going to provide solutions of of the question so that will be easier for me also to make videos and uh, like you'll be getting videos more frequently for this particular series all right so uh let's start with it so this particular uh like this particular video is about a question which was asked in csir june 2019 exam and in this particular question it was actually asked from the birds spawner plot okay or the birds spawner method so what is this particular method I will not be going in much detail but for for the sake of your curiosity I'll just tell you that this is a method this birds spawner method is a method to calculate dissociation energy in this method what we do is we, we uh, with the help of the vibrational spectroscopy we try to find out the energy difference between the initial state and the and the highest state like the highest v value state and that is going to be like that will be called as the unbound state okay so uh, like that will tell you that how much energy you require in order to make a transition from the ground state to the uh, unbounded state or to the maximum state okay so unbound state means you are dissociating the molecule so this is the technical uh, explanation of this particular plot i'll be making a separate video on this later on like on the budge spawner plot but right now let's discuss this question it was pretty simple it was very easy question everything was given to you in the question but yet uh, like it was a little tricky to solve okay so i'll just pro i'll just try to help you guys in that so the question says that the bird spawner plot between delta g uh, like mu uh, plus uh, sorry delta g nu plus half uh, is equals to epsilon nu plus 1 minus epsilon nu now nu is the energy like the state of for which they are talking about okay so it's the vibrational uh, state okay and uh, nu plus 1 so the graph is being plotted between the delta g nu plus half and nu plus 1 so these are going to this is going to be on the y axis this is going to be on the x axis uh, for co uh, like for carbon monoxide is uh, is found to be a straight line with a slope of minus 4 centimeter inverse so minus 4 centimeter inverse is the slope given and the intercept is given as 2170 centimeter inverse the approx value of dissociation energy is being asked for carbon monoxide in centimeter inverse okay now they have given you all the details in the question itself they are said that assume carbon monoxide as the anharmonic oscillator with the energy expression this is the energy expression given to you that is epsilon uh, epsilon nu is equals to nu plus half uh, omega minus nu plus half square xc omega right and the dissociation energy value is also given to you that is d is equals to omega upon 4x so now let's try to solve this up now as you have seen in the question that it's given that delta g and nu plus half is actually equal to 
epsilon nu plus 1 minus epsilon nu what does that mean it means that you have to subtract the value of epsilon nu plus 1 from epsilon nu now epsilon nu plus 1 this is the value of epsilon nu given to you already in the question to calculate the value of epsilon nu plus 1 what you have to do in the place of nu you have to put nu plus 1 okay so what you will be getting for epsilon nu plus 1 you will be getting like nu plus 1 plus half omega minus here you will be getting nu plus 1 plus half square xc omega right and minus this particular value so minus okay i'll just write down over here so minus it will be like nu plus half omega and i'll just write down in the bracket minus nu plus half square xc omega all right now you just have to open the bracket just solve these brackets and open this up so what you are going to get over here is nu plus 3 by 2 omega minus here uh, nu plus 3 by 2 square xc omega minus when this bracket will be opened you will be having nu plus half omega and minus minus will be plus it will be nu plus half square xc omega right now just solve this up uh, open the bracket like a plus b whole square and all the stuffs square subtract multiply and solve so what you are going to get i'm not going to be doing the mathematical part it's very pretty simple you just have to open the bracket this new and this new will be cancelled out and the rest of the things will be uh, done and what you are going to expect at the end is uh, omega minus 2 omega xc and nu plus 1 okay so this is what you will get after solving this particular equation you have to do it of your own okay just try it just see that whether you are doing the mathematical part correctly or not so this is the value of delta g which we got okay so delta g nu plus half is this much all right now the slope is given to you the slope is given to you and the slope is given as minus 14 centimeter inverse now this is the equation which you got actually okay now just see that in the question it was given that the graph is being plotted between this term and this term okay so if you want to compare this both of these things with what you can compare this with this that is y is equals to mx c right so this will be the intercept this will be your slope so slope is nothing but the part which is with the x part means with the nu plus 1 part so slope that is minus 14 that will be equal to actually minus 2 omega x e all right so from here you can calculate the value of uh, omega x e right so omega x e will be equal to 7 so that's what we got as the value of omega x e Secondly, it was also given that the intercept intercept was actually equal to 2170 centimeter inverse. And if you see, so the intercept is nothing but the omega part, right? So omega is your 2170 centimeter inverse. So we got omega. Now we can calculate xc also over here, right? So how much your xc will be? So that will be 7 by omega or 7 upon 21. 7, 0. So that's what you got as your x e value, right? So let it be like that only. Now we can calculate dissociation energy because in the quotient we were given with the dissociation energy value. Now in the quotient itself, it was given that the dissociation energy d was equal to omega upon 4 x e. We'll put both the values of omega and x e uh, from the previous equations. So omega was equal to 2170 that's what we got as intercept and omega 4 and xc was actually equal to 7 upon 2170 so that's what we got as xe so when you will solve this particular equation completely you are going to get the answer okay so on solving this approximately you will get this value that is 168175 centimeter inverse so this is your option number c okay so that's how you have calculated whole of this question and it was pretty simple to solve this you just need to uh, like you just need to put the values in the given equation and that's how you can approach this question so that's all for this video guys and for the graphical part i'll just give you a little bit of uh, information about it that it was actually delta g versus nu plus one plotted like that so this was on the y-axis this was on the x-axis and, and since the slope was negative so you will be getting something like this 
where slope was actually equal to your minus 2 omega xc and this intercept part was equal to omega okay so that was equal to omega so that's all for this video guys i hope you guys understood this question and you like this video right so let me know in the comment section and thank you so much for watching guys have a great day bye bye